The jet disc and belt sander is designed as a benchtop unit, but its capabilities make it likely that a lot of us are going to want to put it on a stand as an independent unit, which is what I've done. The unit is based around a full-on three-quarter horse motor. There's no peak or maximum develop rating. It's rated for continuous duty at three-quarter horsepower. It provides very good, very stable speeds at both the disc and belt sander. and makes it very consistent while you're sanding. This machine uses adhesive back discs and make it easy for changing grits when you need to. The table provided with this is large and nicely shaped. This cutaway here makes it easy to get larger pieces in and maintain control of them. You see it has miter slots running parallel with the disc and perpendicular to it. The parallel slot makes use of an included miter gauge that pivots both ways to 30 degrees. The 90 degree slot is primarily for use with this special insert that's included with the sander. It has a point at its center. You can set this whatever distance you want from the disc and sand perfectly round discs. To use this center point, you just use an awl and put a small hole in the bottom of your blank. Set that over the point and you just turn the piece against the disc. You do have to sand one edge of it down so that distance between your center hole and the edge is the same as this. But once you get it started, you can just turn it and it will sand a perfectly round disc. The cast iron table can be tilted to 45 degrees and has a scale on its hinge. The 6 by 48 inch belt center portion can be operated in a full upright position or you can tilt it down to horizontal or any place in between. It locks in whatever position you want with one hex screw. The sander comes with a large aluminum table that also has a slot that accommodates the miter gauge that comes with the machine. Now this table can also be tilted up to 45 degrees. The table is nicely sized and very stable. It makes a good base when sanding things in a vertical position. It provides a good base and there's no vibration or whip to it. Because the table is mounted directly to the belt sanding arm, you can use it as a stop for when doing edge sanding in a horizontal position. There's an additional mount at the belt sanding portion that accepts the cast iron table that's normally used by the disc. This gives you a lot of options. The table can also be tilted to 45 degrees when installed by the belt. Changing belts on this machine is made considerably easier by this tool free set of doors that opens to reveal the back end of the belt. It also has a single lever for loosening or tightening the belt for removal. Belt tracking is handled through this control. Loosen the locking lever, that frees up the adjustment. Use this disc to adjust the belt so it rides in the center of the drums. Flip the handle back to the lock position and that setting is locked in. One of the things I really like about this machine is that it has a full-on dust collection system built directly into the base. And it uses a 4 inch diameter port so you can hook your hose to it directly without an adapter. There's a finger operated dust gate at both the disc and the belt side. That lets you turn the suction on or off at that portion of the machine to maximize the effectiveness of the dust system and your collector. Whether you do a lot of straight edge sanding, sand bevels, curves, or even sand discs, the power, construction, and capabilities of this jet sander should put it on your must-see list.